Tonight, despite lingering COVID, signs of Mardi Gras coming back to St. Louis and Soulard. It's been two years since thousands of people packed the streets for the annual bash. But COVID, vaccinations, and winter weather will all provide some challenges. News Force Caroline Hecker joins us live now from Soulard with those details tonight. Caroline. Well, Sam, right now, Mardi Gras organizers are working quickly. They're about 24 hours ahead of schedule, trying to get things like tents and porta potties and fences up ahead of that winter weather that we are expecting. All of that happening, as some local bar owners are telling me, if this past weekend was any indication, this weekend they expect big crowds. Purple, green, and gold decorations litter the streets of Soulard as the neighborhood prepares for its first real Mardi Gras since 2020. Local bars and restaurants are gearing up for what can be the busiest weekend of the year. I mean, we sold out a week ago and was the earliest we've ever sold out of tickets, so that's exciting. I mean, that's a good thing. And Crews were out placing porta potties and putting fences up, trying to get ahead of the winter weather headed our way. <laughs> But a look back at last weekend's beautiful temperatures has business owners and volunteers excited about the crowds. I think one of the things we learned this weekend is people are ready to get out of the house and go do something. Mardi Gras brings in $20 million of economic activity to the region, with about 25% of people at the parade coming from out of town. Anyone looking to get into large events like the Bud Light party tent must show proof of vaccination or a negative COVID-19 test. It's a first for volunteers. When you're standing in line uh, to get into a tent and it's 35 degrees, you want it to be efficient and we need it to be thorough. Street alcohol sales will end at 7, while bars will close at 11.30 Saturday night. Owners like Reynolds are eager to cash in on a busy weekend after a tough two years. We're a summertime place. I mean, we have a lot of patio space. And so, so it's, it's, I always say, is it gets us caught up from the rest of the winter and, you know, and it gets us some momentum going into spring. Now, Bradley tells me he is confident that there will be enough volunteers manning the entries of tents like this one to make sure that checking that vaccine card is an efficient process and there is no long line uh, around the corner. He also tells me as of right now, their numbers are up 20 to 50 percent over that of 2020. So again, they are expecting big, big crowds. We're live in Soulard tonight. Caroline Hecker, News 4. I think it's safe to say, Caroline, after two years of a pandemic, it's going to take a little bit more than winter weather to rain on that parade. Thank you, Caroline.